Hi, this is foreclosure defense attorney and legal blogger Roy Oppenheim. This past week, the New York Times ran a front page story about the statute of limitations and foreclosure cases and how some people around the country are possibly going to end up with a free home because of various circumstances that have occurred during this entire foreclosure crisis over the past seven or eight years. I'm going to be doing a two-part video right now, and this first part is going to be who could be affected by the statute of limitations, and I'm going to talk about in my next video how the banks are trying to make sure that you do not end up with a positive outcome and that, that the banks will end up trying to control this process. But for purposes of this video, I want to talk briefly about who may be affected by the five-year statute of limitations. The statute of limitations starts to kick in at the time that the bank notifies you that they are actually going to accelerate the debt. That means normally you'd have a mortgage payment of $1,500 a month, and all of a sudden the bank says, you haven't paid your mortgage in the past six months, we now are demanding $450,000, the entire mortgage amount, the entire principal balance, and all interest that you haven't paid, any taxes, insurance you haven't paid, we want all of it, and we want it now. At that point in time, the bank has accelerated the loan. In many cases, banks are no longer sending these acceleration letters, but it is from that point in time when that acceleration letter is sent that they have accelerated. The other point in time that typically occurs to begin the process of calculating the statute of limitations is that time when the bank actually sues you for foreclosure. Because at that point in time, one of the things they're alleging is that you're in default and that they now are demanding, pursuant to the terms of the note and mortgage, that the entire principal balance and interest is now due and owing. Again, that $450,000. So if you do get a letter that actually says, not that we intend to accelerate, but that we've actually accelerated, that is the point in time that the five years starts. Many times banks don't send that letter, and when they do send, don't send that letter, it is the actual complaint that they serve upon you that says, we now are demanding from you this entire sum of money. Now, if it takes the bank four or five years within that one lawsuit, to complete the foreclosure process, the statute of limitations is not in play because once the lawsuit is filed, the statute of limitation is told. It stops, it stops running for that case. But if, for example, there's a bankruptcy, if, for example, the case gets dismissed because the bank screwed up, if the case gets dismissed because a foreclosure defense firm like ours is able to prove that the bank doesn't have standing, that they violated the rules of evidence, or that they've somehow violated the rules of civil procedure, or your constitutional rights, and the case is dismissed, either with or without prejudice, then the bank has a total of five years from the time that the loan was accelerated to rebring that foreclosure case. And in many times, and in many cases, they have been unable to do that. And that's why you have states in Connecticut, you have courts in Connecticut and courts in New Jersey, and now the Florida Supreme Court is trying to figure out whether or not the courts have the right, or the banks have the right, and the courts therefore have the jurisdiction to consider a new foreclosure case when it's been over five years from the time of acceleration. Thus, in summary, it's five years from the time you actually get a notice of acceleration or five years from the first time the lawsuit is filed and that lawsuit is dismissed or, or somehow uh, the bank is not victorious and the case has to be thrown out and then the banks want to then bring a second action. It's five years from that point in time. If you don't have two lawsuits, you're not in the game. Roy Oppenheim from the trenches. Watch my next video and we'll talk about what the banks are trying to do to achieve a result that is ridiculous.